Hey everybody and welcome. We're about to get open. It's about time to clock in, get our shift done. It's gonna be a long day, new product. Lisa, thank you for coming in on short notice. Man, I know you haven't had an off day. This is your seventh day this week. But that bitch Carlos, after I fired him, would not come in. He didn't even answer the phone. Can you believe it? That wasn't even me. That was corporate. And they played paper, rock, scissor, decided on which of you two had to go. And anyway, long story short, you're here. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get open. Let's see. I'm going to have to do some inspecting. I know it's double the work that you work alone. I know, it's more work, same pay, but we'll get through it. Now I'm going to do my walkthrough. Hopefully you've got everything dusted, stocked. I got the white gloves to do the test. Okay, I'm seeing this. What is this? First thing I come to this shelf, what do I see? It's a hard pair of socks that kind of feels like a rock. Okay, I know what this is. Okay, last night I rubbed one off, literally, and put it by the laundry stuff to remind myself I needed to wash this pair of socks or sins. Should have put it by the holy water. I'll put that away for later. Should have used the tissue. That's why I have the Kleenex. This is why I have facial tissue. But didn't want to use it. Because this stuff cost me a lot of money. I could just wash the socks. First customer. Coming to fraternize. No fraternize. I tell you every time. Stop bringing these random dudes over here. Okay. Can't have this. Or are they just infatuated with you? This register has to go. It's causing an issue. Might be making more cuts. We'll have to see. We'll have to hire more of these robots over here. AI is taking over. Gonna end up taking over here. They don't never seem to be... Look at this guy. What are y'all like a bunch of moths? To a flame? Dude, it's not that serious, okay? Yes, you got to your goal. But here's the issue. There's a register in front. Look, bro, I'm trying to explain. Bro was over there. Like, oh, I could get to the candy from here if I just try. Okay, maybe go here. Okay, well, whatever. All right, well, let's get this done. All right, I see you grabbed some of our knockoff head and shoulders. You'll have to use twice or three times as much to get the equivalent of what Hidden Shoulders offers. But, at the same time, you didn't have to run to Walmart. You know that bitch is like good 15 minutes away. Not only that, with traffic this time of day. Then you got parking. Yeah, <laughs> who wants to spend that time? That's why you got the three. You know you're gonna need a lot. Ma'am, welcome. What have you purchased today, if you don't mind me saying? I'm just taking a short survey. The fajita chicken. Onion. Excellent. Next time, we'll just try a little harder and dig a little deeper in that wallet. Now, you sit in that corner and think about your purchase. She deserved that time out. Lisa, how you holding up on the fort? A lot of customers this morning. These people come in here hungry. They want their stuff. Bro, you're gonna have to do better than a 
can of peas. Not can of peas, like a tree thing, you know, like a jungle. I didn't say can of pea. I said can of peas. It just sounds like can of pea. Am I right or am I right? Yo, what's up, bae? Glad you made it here. I see you here every day. That's so odd. Today, you might notice something different. No, it's not that I'm not wearing pants. I usually do wear pants, but today is a different day. I'm here alone in my own real world. This is a virtual world. Where... Okay, you're not interested. I think I scared her away. Next, I'm going to have to go get some pants out the back room real quick. I think she's going to go call the cop. <laughs> Damn. She is super freak, dude. Okay, pulling the pants up. We won't be helping people pantsless from now on, Lisa. I know we explained the dress code, pants optional. Mandatory now. Who's hiding back here? I know I got a customer running around this store. Was it you? All you customers look the same. Oh yeah, you're admiring that nice set of melons. I'm gonna have to go ahead and double up and order more. Those are huge. I'm not normally a melon man, but you know what? I might pick up a set. That could be a nice pair. This is more me. I don't like apples. Mm, especially pears. Pears. Shh. Any day of the week. And you got the strawberry hand wash liquid. I usually use mine for masturbation. It makes it so much greater. It's great aroma. But this is hand wash liquid. Like I said, it's just aroma. Doesn't mean you can just gulp it down. There's a warning on it. So make sure you read it thoroughly. And if you do decide to partake, make sure you call poison control immediately. Just a little friendly advice. Not that I've been through that before. What? I haven't been through that before. What? It's true. I, I, I haven't. What? Who drinks hand wash that? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it smelled like a daiquiri. What the hell you want from me? Shoot. Take your money and get out of my store. Where's the sympathy in that store? I'm slow. Yo, what's up, ma? What you got? Some Robert De Niro pizza? Makes a fine pizza and some fine movies. Indeed. I heard he left the country to go to Italy and start his own pizza company. Yo, what's up, Ma? What you grabbing on over here? You need some sugar? Because I got a lot of sugar. I'm the sugar man around here. You can't get sugar from nobody else in a probably 10 minute radius. I got that granulated. I got caster. Okay, so you got some OJ. Great job on your purchase. That'll earn me a decent amount of money i'm looking at the time of day it says i'm still poor shoot <sighs> this ain't getting scratched bro you're gonna have to go pick it up off the floor that's your 
food over there. You're gonna come in here and spin that little chicken scratch. You're gonna have to earn your food. Now make sure you pick it up. Who left their coffee cup? Are you serious? Bro, want a free coffee? Okay. I'm gonna tell you, this is probably 80% backwash, but there is some still in there. Coffee. You know, like 20%, 20, 80. They call it this coffee the 2080. Put my man down for this coffee right here. Right here in the coat. Fine fella. What's up, man? How you doing? Would you like a free coffee? If he doesn't buy that coffee, you got it free. That's the kind of merchant I am. I wheel and deal as we go through the day. I know how to pull in the customers. That's why he came to my register. He heard that amazing deal. Bro, he left it out, bitch move. Guess what? You get the backwash coffee. Enjoy. Would you like me to put it in the bag or? Not that we have bags. I can't afford it. I'm poor. Who's leaving that trash out? Look at this. Y'all are disgusting, not you. I mean, the rest of them, you know, excluding you. Now, when you leave the store, it includes you. But only because you're in my face. Now, give me your money. Let's get you 12 little dollars. I'm going to keep one of them. Because I'm going to go ahead and buy a lottery ticket on my way out. If I win, I'll share it with you. How about that? No, that's not going to work for you. That's ridiculous. Dude, you forgot your coffee. Look at that. You schmuck. Why does nobody want this backwash? Okay, now the popcorn. Bro, excuse me. This is a fine container. You could put your popcorn in here. And it's a limited edition. It was used at some movie premiere that I have no idea which one. But I'm pretty sure there's a popcorn kernel or two included as a bonus and no extra cost. Put her down for it. We want to make sure we get maximum profit. Can't find these anywhere these days. Can't enjoy a good movie without a popcorn container. Bro, popcorn? Okay, I'm not begging for money. This is just offering popcorn. You could buy it. I sell popcorn now. There's like two kernels in there. You microwave it. You pop in your Netflix and the VCR. And then bam. You're in business. Popcorn. This includes the $10 for the popcorn, right? Okay, bro has a 50. Better be straight, bro. If the Secret Service comes for me, I'm going to come for you in your sleep. Good day, sir. Are you going to get the popcorn? I've made my sales pitch. I've sold it, I feel. I feel it'll make a great deal. We're talking ten dollars. No, for you, nine fifty. Only you. The rest of them, they can pay the ten. So, any interest? A fine container too. You can not only use it for popcorn. You can pour drinks in it, right, sir? Okay, it's fine. Go discuss it with the wife. I get it. We know where's the pants in your family. Shh. 
sure. Alright. Don't say I didn't offer. Okay. Why waste my time? I mean, I got a hungry daughter. She, You don't think she's hungry? $10 could go a long way. You could feed her single-handedly as some cinnamon bites, right? She could get her chocolate milk. No? All right. Bitch move. Bitch move. This guy likes kids to be hungry. Y'all. Say, ho. Wait, I can't leave my drawer open. You're cheap ass. You'll take all my money. Y'all, bro. Red... Red Polo, he likes hungry kid. What are you doing to my machine? Were you fooling with it? Are you messing with the credit card? Did you skim it? I think this chick is a skimmer. I'd like to see her in her skimmies, but I definitely think she was skimming it. Y'all, y'all might want to avoid that first one. Okay, we're not going for the popcorn. Fine. I'll throw it away. If you didn't like that, how about a limited edition used one? Okay, this one. This one is crushed. Okay, who's throwing diapers on the floor? Anyway, forget it. Forget our offer. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's shitting it up. Look at this. <laughs> Y'all, this chick buying two toilet clean. <laughs> Y'all, check it out. Lisa, your girl over there. She, look, she's buying two. How nasty your toilet's gotta be in your house. Yo, what you doing in there? I know your phone be always needing to be charged, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that dude smiling. Bro, that was funny, right? Bro, back me up here. This chick shitting it up you might want to get some of them diapers to go with them and i got plenty of toilet paper you know speaking of just the observation i have never sold one toilet paper and it's been two days just the observation are people just not wiping these days like the importance of hygiene down there you know you might want to try some i know what i sell feels like sandpaper but you know you still need it just like i said but you still need it you didn't take money out this register while i walked did she take money out did y'all I'm gonna count this drawer. We could all wait right here. Scout's on, all right? All right. No more leaving the drawer open for me. Fifteen. Forty-six. Get on. Rocos. And some sunshine totally on. Look at this chip. Gonna go spray paint my walls. I see you. I see you. Like, I don't see her. Oh, she's got some head. <laughs> you ever had head before? This is lettuce. What do you call it? Heads of lettuce? Say lettuce and then spell cup. Before I take the money, say lettuce, then spell cup. Lettuce, C U P. Ah, uh, ah, uh, isn't that clever? Whatever. She just wants her change. 
she didn't come here for a funny joke. Good day. Oh, I'm never going to be able to afford. <clears throat> you know what? I take back what I said about this town. Look at this. You bought it's the toilet paper. Somebody around here is wiping. Now, you see, this is how you do it. Maybe you're overdoing it. I know they have those strikes going on at the ports, but you don't have to overdo it. One was fine. Two, maybe. Three is like you just need to go see a doctor at this point. It could be prostate involved. Yo, we got toilet paper. You need the, those whites white instead of brown you want to keep that outfit white you need to get this white soft toilet paper or you could buy the brand flakes they do give you a free roll inside courtesy of brand flakes our own in-house 27 convene makes those so can i put you down for a pack uh, shoot. Okay, if your outfit has brown stains, it's not on me. Don't say I didn't warn her. Their outfit's gonna look like this candy bar. After she turns it up. Not turns it up. She'll turn it up any day. I mean, that's a nice looking woman. But I said turn it up. Like, <laughs> don't walk away from me. I think she laughed under her breath. I'm not getting rich quick. For some reason, I'm still broke. I think I'm going to start extorting you people. Y'all are gonna start paying me money for these groceries. I'm not making squat. Everything's going up 20% and I'm gonna call it because of inflation and wages. You see that woman over there register too? She wants like 80 something dollars a day. <laughs> Who's got money to pay her? <laughs> Wait till she sees payday. <laughs> I saw them for fire her and she can't get the money. You got it. She'll have work like two weeks for free. Shh. Good day. If you say anything. <gasps> Holy. All right. This really sucks that y'all would stick this in my doorway. Which one of you savages brings a wheel in front of a convenience store or inside it for that matter? Why am I filling my dumpster with their trash? All right, honey, go ahead and get in. I'm closing up, sweetie. Just you come in. Anybody else is trespassing. I'm calling the cops. The sign's officially off. I gave her permission to come in after the sign went off. Okay, nobody wants a break in an entering charge. They best stay away. Alright, let's get these customers wrapped up. Alright, my man's got a Coke, an energy drink. You got you some nutty spread. And you got some color safe bleach. Them tidy whitey's gonna be like tight and white. Right? Bro, seriously? The last customer? Dude, I think I closed just in time. Because this register just crashed. Cola. 
yes energy drink yes three three yes yes is it because you want this limited edition are you sold okay is it because you want to talk to my manager because of my joke about your dirty tidy whities if so i understand but there's a problem with that. I am the manager. I run this place and I say pay what you love. What do you mean you don't want to pay? Okay. Whatever. Y'all, we closed. Okay, y'all gotta stop necking and get out of here. Alright, you see that? That's some sad sales. I started the day with about 600 and now i'm at 1500 our goal is to make 3000 we want that wall to disappear right more product more shelves more customers they'll come from far and wide to our store the gossip oh have you heard about 27 convene and maybe just maybe when we get the customers, corporate might give a call. Hire somebody. Get her one person. Just one. It won't be two. But they will definitely get more self-checkouts. Anyway, Lisa, thanks for coming in. Payday is going to be coming up. I swear to God I'm going to have that money. Oh, Jesus, I hope I do. All right, y'all, don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Let me know in the comments what you thought. This was a pretty productive day, aside from now my register crashed. I had a problem earlier, same thing. So hopefully they get this worked out. I don't know if it's something conflicting with that new product or... I'm pretty sure they'll figure it out. Y'all take care and see you um, on the next one.